I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting multiple choice question. We need to check the value for cot inverse minus 2. Four choices are given to you. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my solution. Now let's first try to understand what is cot inverse of minus 2. What does it mean? As you know, this value will return angle in radian. So this value is angle in radians. So what we have here is all angles in radius. Now let's estimate the value. The cot inverse function is defined in which interval? The cot inverse function is defined in the end angle theta should be equal to what? That is important to understand. Cot inverse is defined in 0 to pi or 0 to 3.14, right? So that means that these values are incorrect. So we have one of these two options, right? So that is that is how we can, you know, eliminate 2 and then we can get back to 2. To find the actual answer, what we can do is there are a couple of ways we can do. Since this is the domain, we should actually check with uh, a function whose domain is kind of similar. If you remember, cos inverse of x has a domain which is uh, same, right? Which includes both, but it does include the whole dom domain of cot. So cos inverse is a better function to use in the calculator to find the answer. Some of you can actually use tan also. Well, most of you will do because cot is kind of reciprocal of tan, right? So in that case, at times you may get a wrong result since for tan inverse x, the domain for x is between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, right? So if you keep that thing in mind, you will actually get a right result, right? So you can approach both ways and get your answer. This is of course faster, right? Now let us see how to get the right answer. So when we say cot inverse of minus 2, we know it is some angle theta. So we can say minus 2 is cot theta, uh, is cot theta, right? Now, so we can say tan theta will be minus half. So to find theta, we could do tan inverse of minus half. Is that okay? So let us see what do we get from this. So we are doing shift tan inverse minus 1 divided by 2 bracket close equal to. We get an angle which is minus 0 0.463. Do you see that? Now that is one of the options. So at times you may take that as the correct answer which will be absolutely wrong. Now as I said, if you are using tan, you have to be careful since tan function is defined from minus pi by 2 to this place, right? So what you got here was kind of this place, right? Cotangent is defined in 0 to pi portion. Is it okay? So what we are looking for is a solution which should have been in quadrant 2, right? So this quadrant. So from that result, which is minus 0 0.463, you could actually get that result also, right? The only thing will be you need to add pi to this. Is it okay? You need to add pi to this, right? So, so the actual angle, so the, this is not the right angle, right? So we'll just say theta prime, right? So actual angle theta is actually equals to minus 0 0.463 plus pi. Then you get the right answer, right? So if I add uh, pi to this, then I get 2.677, right? So which is rounded to 2.68. So that becomes the right answer, correct? So this is one way of doing it, right? 
probably the faster way of doing it. There is another way you could do that is to use directly cosine function, right? So let me show you that also. So in that case, what we do is we try to sketch cot inverse minus 2. Cot inverse minus 2 means base over opposite side, right? So minus 2 means kind of like this and the opposite side is 1. So that is the triangle which is formed. So in this particular triangle, this is like minus 2 and uh, this is 1. So the coordinate point is 1 mi minus 2, 1. And the angle which we are talking about is this angle, theta. Is it okay? That's the angle we are talking about. Now for finding the cos inverse, you need to find what hypotenuse is, which will be this square plus that square, right? So 4 plus 1, 5 square root. So this happens to be square root 5. So from here, you can actually write down that cos theta is equals to minus 2 over square root 5, minus 2 over square root 5, right? So from here, we can convert and write what theta is in terms of cos. So we can write theta equals to cos inverse of minus 2 over square root 5 right so let's use the calculator once again and find the answer using cosine inverse so we have cos inverse of minus 2 divided by square root of 5 bracket close equal to so we get the direct answer which is equals to 2.677 right exactly same as we got earlier right so so this is another approach now this approach is a preferred approach that may be giving you a faster answer with a probability of you are getting the wrong answer, right? So anyway, this was here to discuss with you how to use calculator to approximately find the value of inverse of cotangent function, which is very critical. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.